Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Camera in the foreground. That's my vlogging camera. That's my Alex I'm actually vlogging right now on my cell phone because I've been working on a project here and I'm stumped on how to get it finished. So let's take a look at what I've been working on. I've been working on how to convert a Genu Smooth Q, the $130 gimbal into a compact camera gimbal. And I thought I had it. I thought I had it. I thought it was all together. I thought it was working. I got it balanced this way. I got it balanced like very much or very close this way, but I didn't account for something. If you can just imagine what I didn't account for, we'll give you a second to think about it. Got it? So what I didn't account for was the extended lens. Um, I have very limited space with this when I'm working uh, to work with. I have very limited space. And as you can see here, um, I have a, a counterbalance weight mounted to the back of the, the arm here. I have just a, a prototype bracket to hold it to kind of do all of my um, my fittings until I you know got everything lined up, and then I go out and get a real or a nice bracket made. Um, and I didn't account for the freaking offset of the lens. So once I figure this out, I'm going to show you how I did it and the parts that I use. I use about twenty dollars for parts. It was actually a kit that I bought from Amazon. Um, and I use almost every part from that kit to kind of make this. And it's not a permanent modification. In fact, once you take off the the uh, the cell phone holder um, in the tutorial video, I'll show you how. And if you've probably already seen it online, once you remove this uh, this little screw, it had a set screw in the back of it that kind of held it on, so you didn't screw it all the way out. So once you take this apart to get it off, and take the set screw out of the back or the locking screw out of the back of the out of the back of this threaded bolt here, you could actually reinstall this on the gimbal and be back with your cell phone in a matter of seconds by just removing, um, if you follow my instructions, by removing the L bracket that I have here and the counterbalance weight in the back. So, like I said, I forgot to account for the offset of the lens. And as you can see right now, it's perfectly balanced. But look what happens when I turn the lens on. I thought about different ways to do it and it all boils down to me finding the appropriate size weights. So the kit that I came, that I bought, came with um, four of these weights. I'm not sure exactly how much they weigh, but they are pretty heavy. But the thing I liked about them is their, their width. I had, like I said, I have very little space to work with in the back here, um, behind the gimbal arm. So I'm gonna turn this off real quick. I have very little space to work with in the back here. Um, I can get two weights on of this size, but then what happens is um, I put too much weight in the back and it puts the lens pointing up in the air. And to try to offset that, what I have been thinking about doing is extending the L bracket and sliding the camera further forward, which would probably fix the problem, but it would make this a little bit heavy. These are not the lightest weights. These are, I mean, I could probably go check to see how much they weigh. Give me a second, I'll go check to see how much they weigh. Okay, so they weigh 156, 157 grams a piece. Um, one, did the trick, it balanced this out. Two, puts the lens pointing up in the air. So then if I add 300 grams to this, I'm putting a lot of extra weight and stress on this whole setup. I don't wanna put a lot of stress on this motor here. Um, I don't wanna put a lot of stress where I, this whole setup is now uh, straining the bottom motor. These motors should be fine as long as everything's balanced, but the bottom motor may be the one that's taking all the stress and strain from trying to rotate this whole um, moving it around while it's powered up. I know there's some guys out there that have done a lot of cool modifications already for the, the Smooth Q. I was trying to improvise on what I saw um, and make it a little bit cleaner. Like I said, this is a prototype bracket right now, just made out of a piece of uh, aluminum that I found around, drilled some holes in it, um, just so I can kind of align and slide the camera around. And I had added the addition of some rubber matting to kind of keep it from uh, scratching up my camera just because I'm anal. I, I might've said that in other videos. But other than that, I don't know how to make this thing balance out. I don't know how to get the weights. I don't know where to get the weights to get this to balance out, given the amount of space that I have in the back there. So I'm asking you guys for your help. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think I could do to kind of get this to work? If you can help me get it to work, that'll be as soon as I can give you my plans or my drawings, and you can go out and modify this for yourself. But um, that's what I've been working on. Um, leave some comments below if you can tell me if you know of a way that I can kind of get this to balance out with the lens extended. Um, or account for the lens being extended. I think my my only option at this point is extending out the L bracket, putting extra weight on the back, and then counterbalancing the whole camera by sliding it forward. Um, but I probably will want to work with, um, I don't know, I, th I guess the aluminum probably 
probably a, the lightest material I, I can think of right now because if I went with a uh, if I went with a 3D printed bracket, L bracket, I might be adding a lot of weight to get the actual strength to hold the camera. So, just wanted to get back to you guys and say thank you again for supporting the vlog. I very much appreciate it. And again, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I will talk to you later. Bye. Fingers.